They just can't seem to leave my mans alone, bro. They just can't seem to leave CM Punk alone. Uh, Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez of the Wrestling Observer News, I believe is what one stands for. Uh, they're now reporting that the Young Bucks were open to talking to CM Punk if he could go six months without an incident. It just sounds ridiculous. Um, now, I think we got to take it with a grain of salt or a pinch of salt or whatever the saying is because you also got to understand that, one, to me, it doesn't make sense that, like, when you say, like, all right, go six months without an incident, it's like you have multiple incidents. Like, you are someone who's, like, incident prone. If you think about it before... CM Punk got suspended or not suspended, but if you think about All Out or Brawl Out or the media scrum, that was all in like one, like what, a one or two week span or two to three week span. And that was two incidences. Before that, what was CM Punk incident? Now it's being reported that he had a, a problem with William Regal is yet to be confirmed, is yet to be, you know, uh, reported by somebody who I got trust in, such as a, a Sean Ross app. I, I, I don't really put much stock into anything Dave Meltzer or Brian Alvarez say. Me personally, when you're only reporting the bad side of one person and the other side has a, a finishing, not a finishing move, probably is it a finishing move? It should be a finishing move. When the other side has a a signature move, at the very least, named after you, I'm sorry, but it's hard to believe that you're unbiased in any sort of fashion. So, uh, yeah, that William Regal story hasn't been reported by anybody I personally trust or I personally would put stock into their story. So, until that is confirmed, it's just a report to me. So... Uh, other than calling out Hangman Adam Page on live TV, which he did, and the media scrum and brawl out, which the brawl out wasn't his fault, but the media scrum, those are two incidences which still don't really make sense to me because if those count as incidences against our incidents or it's incidences, a word, <laughs> incidents against him, what is Hangman calling him out on live television called what is them going into his locker room called what is andrade and sammy guevara getting into a call what is eddie kingston and sammy guevara getting into a call does sammy have as many incidents as cm punk at that time so if cm punk has to go six months with being oh like you know celibate <laughs> for lack of a better word or on a straight and narrow, for lack of a better word, um, lack of a better term. What, like, I, maybe I should give the Young Bucks the, the benefit of the doubt. Maybe I should. There's either, there's two sides to look at it. CM Punk was way more of a backstage problem than even Dave Meltzer knows, which I highly doubt, to be honest, or this report is exaggerated either by the young bucks or dave Meltzer. um because again for you to say all right go six months without causing commotion he had to have more than those two instances he had to have more than calling out hangman out of page in the media scrum so um yeah again this is either exaggerated by dave Meltzer or the young bucks or CM Punk had way more going on backstage than even the Young Bucks and Dave Meltzer would put out, or any news publication would put out, or any wrestling journalist journalist would put out. So, um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Um, I wish none of this would happen, but it is what it is. It's the reality we live in. The you know. At this point, I think CM Punk and MJF would have been in a few. I think everybody would love to see that. But let me know what you think about this in the comments. I have a Discord now. I will be leaving that in the uh, description. Uh, I'm getting it all started so we can just chop it up and have genuine discussions, genuine debates. 
Um, and it won't just be wrestling. It will be uh, NFL. The NFL starting up. NBA starts up soon. Let's have a genuine discussion. Not it won't be any toxic matters. We it's just something a safe place you can go to speak your mind and genuine debates. It's a fun time. <laughs> but uh yeah, join the Discord, subscribe. There's 780 of you now. We need about 220 more to get to, you know, start making some little pocket change off this thing. And uh we need about 1500 more watch hours. So the content just go keep coming. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss this journey. I appreciate you for tuning in. Have a beautiful day. Make someone smile today. Sub to act. Peace.